Hello, dear students. This is Dr. Mahesh Naikas. In this video class, you will be learning how to use our different functions of models, shall and should. And this is class two of models. This video class is prepared on the basis of the book English Language Practice. Dear students, in the last class, we discussed the models will and would. Their different functions we analyzed with different examples in the last class. At the same time, you also uh, knew or learned the basic information about these two, I mean, especially all the models, of course, not these two models, all the models. For example, we knew that the model remains same whether the number of the subject changes. That means whether the subject is singular or plural, the model remains same. The subject to singularly or plurally model hage Okay, right. At the same time, we also learned that the tense or the I mean, tense of the verb or the verb. Let me say. After we use, I mean, after the uh, uh, model, it remains in present tense. That to base form. Model Adanantara, Balasuva Kriya Padavu, verb, as a present tense, but the base formally. So, all these things we learned in the last class. The learning objectives of this class the first one is to enable the students to know models or model auxiliaries, especially here, shall and should. That means uh, uh, this class aims uh, at uh, uh teaching the students about the use of shell and should the second objective is to make them use them on their own the students uh, uh, will uh, use these two models on their own after this class okay dear students now let us have a look at uh, model shell here are some examples let us see one by one and uh, the function of each sentence or each example. Right uh, here is a sentence I or we shall visit the temple tomorrow. So the function of shall here is indicating future. And the sentence shall and of course shall and a birthday, but especially in this sentence, shall tells about future okay so in shall is sentence nalli future na indicate maartakkanta model agi kelsa maartayide that too with first person pronouns i and we first person pronouns first person ta karithiru i we andre i matte we especially first person jothege naavu shall balisidre that indicates future whenever we use shall with first person i and we that generally indicates future. Okay, I am at the Vijay Teke Shalabar Sivyadre, Adu future is among the party bond. Right. Which book shall I or we read? So here also, first person, ideally, you live first person, I and we, but the function of shall here is asking for advice. So, illi first person, it, but illi future and indicate mark. Here also we have first person, okay, in the subject, but here is asking for advice with first person pronouns. So that means shall is also used to ask for advice or suggestion uh, in a question form. Generally, it is in a question form. Samanagi suggestion or to advice kelta kantha on the sentence shallana parasimartiola adu question form Shall I wait for you? Shall we meet for dinner? Yes, these two are also in question forms. So what 
ಶಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಶಲ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಸಜೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಐ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಐ ಮತ್ತೆ ವಿ ಎರಡು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಸಜೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಶಲ್ ವಿ ಮೀಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡಿನ್ನರ್ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಶಲ್ ಐ ವೈಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಸಜೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಶಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ when it is used with the first person pronouns yes the use of shall also continues uh, in this slide right uh, so you shall follow the officer's instructions so shall is of course we have used but look at the pronoun here you you is second person so andre when we use shall with second person Uh, it uh, becomes command okay with second or third persons for example he shall follow the officer's instruction whether we use here he or she in he or she or you yene hakaru kuda second matte third person alli adu command agutte but i hakadaga adu berene agutte okay but here shall with second and third person command so in this sentence shall is used to indicate command they shall repent if they behave badly shall they look at this so third person threat warning warning or threat they shall repent if they behave badly second or third person okay second or third person this is okay third person another sentence she shall get a prize if the if she scores more than 90% promise with second or third person so she is third person she jothe balsadi it is uh, functioning as a promise okay she shall get a prize if she scores more than 90% shall is used to indicate promise so okay dear students i hope uh, um, now uh, you have learned the different uses of shall especially when it is used with first person and second and third person okay now uh, let us have a look at different functions of should okay so here should the principal said that all should reach the college by 10 o'clock so should hege balisidhi navu should is used to indicate the past tense of shall in indirect speech so this is the past tense of shall is the past tense of shall in okay should so indirect speech alli we use shall in badlige should okay fine so let us look at the next sentence you should obey your parents look at this you should should is not past tense of shall okay just like we learned that would uh, uh, is not past tense of will andre would to past tense will in a past tense alla anta last class alli we learned okay would be is used uh, in different sentences for different functions other than past tense okay fine so here you should obey your parents so what is the function duty or correct action either it should be duty or correct action andre correct action sariyada ondu kelasa athwa duty kartavya adana suchisodakke now should ana balisidivi okay right we can also say you should respect your country you should respect your country we should respect our country i should respect my country okay so whether in the first that means the subject yav de irli subject yav de irli whether first person or second person or third person should do it uh, is used for the same uh, function i should you should we should they should that is duty or correct correct action another sentence is coming they should be home by now yes they should be home by now they should be home by now so of course we have used should here logical inference or probability so here probability avu ishtotti maneyalli irbekagittu yakilla okay so it is used when the situation is like this okay if a uh, if 
okay the children if uh, the children of particular parents uh, they uh, reach the home at 5 after their school hours okay let us think this they they every day reach home at 5 at 5 but on a particular day uh, if they do not reach home even at 6 or 5 30 so then generally this sentence is used they should be home by now okay ishtoti mane irbekayitu iga 5 khala aitu 5 vare aitu ishtoti mane irbekayitu okay adre innu bandilla anna arthadalli logical inference or probability we use this one so another sentence is coming here should i see her i will speak to her likely condition just like if i see her okay just like if i see her i will speak to her so in that sense should is used here should i see her i will speak to her okay nanu avalana nodidre bheti aadre avalatra maatadtini annartadini hege ee re antha helthara if arthadalli should is used right fine so i think these are different yes okay uh, uses of uh, the two models shall and should okay dear students uh, now what are the learning outcomes of this particular class uh, yes you know different uses or functions of model or model auxiliaries shall and should and now you are able to use them on your own whether in writing or speaking Fine, dear students, uh, let us uh, have a look at multiple choice questions. Uh, question number one is here for you. Right? You dash not leave office before 5 o'clock. Is it, I mean, is that clear? Yes. Use the appropriate model or model auxiliaries. Will, would, shall, none of the above. Which? has to be filled in the blank thing uh, look at the tone of the sentence you dash not leave office before five o'clock is that clear yes i think you are right dear students here is the answer c you shall not is that clear so just this is an order okay order shall is used with second person so order fine or command of course order or command question number two shall i bring a glass of juice what is the function of shall here future it is indicating future indicating command promise offering yeah so what is it doing here shall for which purpose it is used here okay you are right the offering okay shall is used to indicate offering question number three you should go for walk every day yes what are the options correct action yeah should is used here the model should is used here to indicate correct action logical inference likely condition past tense of shall yes you should go for walk every day think which is the correct option yes dear students you are right correct action here yeah. so it is correct action fine question number four blank i made breakfast today will would shall should yes think about the right option or correct answer yes you are right see shall i make so asking for suggestion <coughs> excuse me dear students question number five my salary is very low so you dash look for another job fill in the blank a will we should c would d shall yes what is the answer fine you are right answer is b you should look for another job you should look for another job okay good that is correct action 
Fine. So this book, English Language Practice Board of Editors, Brown University, uh, is uh, uh, referred to prepare this class. Dear students, it is time to thank you and, uh, uh, of course, for watching uh, attentively this video class. Uh, let me take your leave by wishing you to have a cheerful time. Thank you very much. Let me close this class.